Pauline Cucharo Amlings, Bohol. Billy Hackinson, Cavite. Trabia Oxenia Mateo, Ilu Ilu City. Sabella Rojas Ismael, Paranaque City. Zaresa Imperial Gumabao, Quezon City. A positive and lasting impact by being a role model, by embodying what it means to me to be greater. It is a constant struggle, it is a constant commitment to always work on being stronger, embracing my vulnerabilities, and knowing that I am the perfect version of my imperfect self, and empowering and enabling other girls, everyone, to feel the same way, because we are greater in our own rights. Thank you so much. I was a survivor of gender-based abuse, and without knowing it, maybe, so are you. And I am not here to just be a voice. I am here to amplify voices because we will not be silenced by fear anymore. We are here to be empowered by truth. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I have to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I, wanna, uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of beauty. Thank you very much. The things that I've learned that is valuable is actually staying true to yourself and being as authentic as you can be no matter where you are. And that's something I learned as I went on in this journey. And I'm very thankful that I've been able to really realize that. I'm thankful that I am who I am today. I am thankful that I am able to show you all exactly who I am. And I can't wait to continue doing that and hopefully inspire more people to be themselves as well. Be proud of who you are and that's the most that you can do for everybody and for yourself. Thank the you. volleyball court was the first ever stage I walked on. And uh, I know that God is using me to share my passion for the sport to the younger generation. This is how I know that I am phenomenal and conditioned for greater. Because I want to instill in the youth qualities like faith, passion, hard work, and discipline. Because I stand here today as proof that these can help you achieve your dreams. And I'm here to tell you to fight and never give up and be relentless in the pursuit of your dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much. From Bohol, Pauline Amalix. Next up, Cavite, Kimberly, Billy, Hackinson. City, Rabia Mateo. Isabella Ismael
representing Quezon City, Michelle Gumabo. The factors that helped me decide that is basically what I want to put out there, what I want to show the world about myself, how I want to portray myself. What matters most is that we know who we are, that we are true to our authentic selves, and that we always try our best to show and share that to the rest of the world and hopefully inspire them to do the same. Thank you. Here is your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Go. I think pageants are now an amazing platform to show that not, our, not all our dreams are, are canceled. They're just put on hold. And for us, we're lucky that we're still able to make this one dream come true, to stand here, to spread hope, to rally people together in action and conversation and spark change. And together, I'm sure, 
we can make a positive impact out there on this stage. That is the essence of beauty pageants in the time of the pandemic. Thank you. We have fought long and hard for our right to suffrage. And this is not something that we should waste. For us to be able to complain and be able to appreciate the things that we have as Filipino citizens, we have to vote. We have to participate in selecting our leaders. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here is your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? I am someone who is usually an independent person, but because of this beauty pageant, I realized that I needed to ask for help, that I needed to reach out to people, and same goes for everyone else. To be able to survive something as big as this pandemic, altruism should be practiced, and cooperation is always the key. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo. I would tell that child that a beauty queen is somebody who is, first and foremost, a human being. She's somebody that is proud of who she is, but most importantly, she is somebody that brings hope. When she wears that crown on her head, it's not just because she's the most beautiful girl in the room, but it's because she's the woman who inspires hope. She's the woman who inspires love and productivity and somebody being authentic. And a beauty queen is somebody that we should always look up to. Thank you. Time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand at a time of crisis? In my experience with the pandemic and being in one of the most prestigious pageants in the Philippines, I've realized that pageants are something that can give Filipinos hope and it's something that can give Filipinos something to look forward to. It's something that we as Filipinos, as a pageant-loving nation, it's something that we're so proud of. It's something that gives us life. And that's the relevance of what a pageant is. We help each other out, we help other people, and we help ourselves grow. We help each other prosper through any negative aspect. The most important app during this whole quarantine was my Bible. Having faith in the midst of this pandemic was very vital to me, not only for my mental health, but also for my sanity. It got me through the toughest of times. I was able to get through others through the toughest of times, and it kept me centered, and it kept me grounded. And that's the most important thing that I would need in a pandemic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ari, you ready for your second question? Yes, bring it on. All right, here it comes. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Time starts now. As we all know, pageants are a very, very inspiring event 
not only to the Philippines, but to every country who supports pageantry. It is important to stage a pageant and to show the Philippines that we are much more than our setbacks, than our failures, and that we are able to overcome any adversity. Having a pageant symbolizes hope, and right now on the stage, that is who we are. Thank you. Runner-up is... Cavite! The third runner-up is... Pohol! The second runner-up is... Quezon City! Only two remained. Let me remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner-up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It is time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is... Miss Ilo Ilo! Philippines 2020.